In this sketch, we'll meet a waddle of penguins as they explore the Colosseum. And yes, that really is the name for a group of penguins. So while these birds take in the wonders of ancient Roman society, we'll cover six major sociological theories. These theories vary a lot in their assumptions and their scope, but at the core, they all attempt to answer the same question. What makes society the way it is? There are two broad fields of sociology that you should be familiar with to understand these theories, macro sociology and micro sociology. We'll let this big macro penguin represent macro sociology. Macro sociology is the study of large scale patterns in social systems, like examining war, poverty, racism, or religion, topics that pretty much apply to the whole world. And so our macro penguin is looking at a world map. A macro sociologist might study questions like, how does war impact social mobility, or how does religion influence gender roles? This field tends to be very heavy on theory and focuses on generating broad generalizations about society. On the other hand, micro sociology zooms in on society to study how people interact with one another. And that's why these micro penguins are in the midst of what seems to be a very engaging interaction. I mean, fair enough. I'd be that excited too if I was a little blue penguin which is actually the name of this species. 